as you can see from the video we did just before this, um, it kind of just shows the timeline of what we saw. Um, if you look back on the video update I did on 12.6, you can see how great she looked. Um, it's the one with her and Baron together. Um, again, there was no concern really for um, the behavior. At one had noted that it might be a nervous behavior and given the fact that she was relayed to us as a healthy horse when she went too often, there was kind of no red flags that something else was going on. Um, and some horses do that uh, like they would crib and she didn't have that in that space that she was in. Um, so it made sense because it would come and go. And then with the um, injury to the left side, um, we weren't sure if there was a concussion going on. So lifting the food again, it would go away. And it went away with the treatment of antibiotics almost to the point where these past couple weeks, I mean, we were getting hauling quotes. We were just waiting for the results of the PCR to come back and um, hoping she would travel. Um, so, and then learning uh, more about EPM and how fast it can come on um, if left untreated. Uh, she probably got stressed when she couldn't find Baron because now that he's feeling great, <laughs> he wants to be with everybody else. So he kept on blowing through the fence. So that morning he was not with her. And we kind of think that, you know, that stress of all of a sudden being alone and not being able to see him probably um, caused it to come on again. And this is after talking to the vets at um, Riata too. So um, again, going back and forth Friday night with my chiropractor and her being the one to suggest it, and again, not being able to get anybody to come out. It was getting pretty apparent pretty quickly that um, we needed to make a call to try and get her up somewhere where she could get what she needed. And um, just within 24 hours that, I mean, overnight really, that last section of video is from yesterday morning. Um, she was much brighter. So, to me, she was a totally different horse. Again, appearance of being straight, like there was no issue. Um, again, confirming with the vets that the EPM probably was the root cause. Now, whether she had it, and that's why she went to auction, she could have been a carrier, it could have been just present, and that whole big change from going to auction environment to being shipped to a kill pen to being in an environment where she's getting pushed and tossed around and, and not knowing um, could have been the catalyst. We don't know because we don't have that history and we're not getting um, that kind of clear communication from um, anybody who had her before. Um, I kind of suspect that maybe that's the reason why she went. Um, they couldn't afford or didn't want to bother with the treatment or maybe the behavior was present and they didn't know what to do and they didn't want to bother with it. I don't know. In any case, it is working. And um, I think this morning we have raised up to uh, maybe $380, I think. Um, and that includes some that I've received via Zelle. So everything helps. Um, the EPM test, which wouldn't go out till tomorrow, if, if that's the decision we make to do that, um, to kind of decide what medicine would be best to treat long term um, is alone $325. So um, it is an expensive um, route, 
that wasn't anticipated. We thought we had a good plan. We thought it was just going to be a couple weeks of quarantine and it, the timing of Oklahoma and she was just going to be able to hop on the trailer and go home with them. But that's not how it works out sometimes. So she is a sweet, sweet mare. She is very um, willing and, and trying to fight through this. And I know they are dying to get her home at Hardwood Creek. So anything helps. Um, we'll, we hope to get another update later today. I myself am going to be on the road, so I don't know if I'll be able to update later today or not. But um, I hope to keep doing this and keep you posted. And please check out the PayPal for the fundraiser or Facebook for the fundraiser. And don't forget to subscribe and keep watching. Happy Sunday.